an ancient port city just 27 kilometers from Spain. For centuries, it's been a strategic point of commerce between Europe and Africa. Today, economic activity has expanded from merchants trading produce and other goods to high-tech manufacturing for some of the world's biggest companies. So this is our cerebral activity. We do about a million of these a year. It takes about six months to train people to be able to make a steering wheel in the correct time. So we started off with about $2 million worth of port netting business annually. And then now we've grown to about a 40 million euro per year of sales, doing more and more complex products. Julian Furman is GM at Polydesign, an automotive leather company operating in Tangier since 2001. We make a variety of interior trim parts for the automotive industry, and we work for all of the main car companies, uh, such as uh, Audi, Volkswagen, BMW, uh, Jaguar, Land Rover, uh, Renault, PSA, Ford, uh, Volvo. So um, we have about 35 customers. When we decided to come to Morocco, basically the uh, proximity to Europe, also the cost structure. An attractive cost structure because the company is part of the Tangier Made Free Zone, one of several free trade zones created by the government, and are proving to be a boon for many companies like Poly Design. One of more than 650 businesses in a zone sprawling over 3,000 hectares. At the Neo Corporation, production is fierce as workers generate thousands of seat and headrest covers six days a week. Being part of the special zone pays dividends for Leocor. On the free zone, the corporate tax is 0% for the five first years, and after that, it will uh, decrease it to a rate of 8.75%. To the World Bank from 2005 to 2012, Tangier has created jobs three times faster than all of Morocco. The ease of logistics is also a contributor to the growth, at least for one fashion company which sources its fabrics across Europe and China. Before the ports opened, the design was quite challenging, basically. A cobbler coming from Asia was 30 to 40 days, a cobbler coming from Turkey was 12 to 15 days. Uh, today with the port, we uh, from Izmir or Istanbul or wherever, uh, any port from Turkey to Morocco, we are talking about four to five days. And this is basically giving us a lot of advantage in terms of lead time. And we have been more competitive. The sentiment Julian Furman echoes. It's opened up new markets. Um, it's enabled us to have a longer reach for our products. A market expansion that's part of Tangier's renaissance, a renaissance businesses thriving in the free zones, hope continues decades into the future. And Eddie Jokos, CNN.